We have private access, so we're going to share with you on a special guest. You know, Annie, sometimes in life you're faced with a lot of no's, but if you work hard and stick with it, that no can turn into a big yes. The trials and tribulations that one must go through to follow their dreams can be overwhelming. This is Talk It Up TV. Born and raised in Ferndale, from living on the streets to performing on the big stage, this is Jesse Brand. Everything I said to you, everything I said to you, everything I said to you. Taking back everything. So Jesse, thinking back from when you were younger, how did your love for music begin? I was probably six or seven years old, and there was used to be this little beer joint out on the old Pacific Highway. It was right up Main Street and out on the old Pacific, probably a mile from here, um, called the Naughty Pine. My dad's band used to play in there pretty much every weekend. And, uh, <clears throat> my mom used to take my brother and I out there, and we, we always had dinner. and. We got to sit around and listen to my dad's band play for, for about an hour or so, and then they kicked us out because we were little kids. But I remember standing on the floor uh, right in front of the stage one night. The house lights went down and the stage lights went up, and my dad started playing his drums, and, and the guitar came on and the bass guitar came on, and everybody just kind of flocked to the dance floor, and I saw what music did to those people, and I, at that moment, made a conscious decision and I said to myself that's what I'm going to do with my life and every every waking moment has been directed since then at music. Share with us some of your trials and tribulations that you went through to get to where you are today. You know I had a really good job pouring concrete and framing houses up here um, and I, I packed up everything I, I could fit in my pickup and I drove 2,500 miles from my family and my friends and everything I knew to pursue a dream that everybody said there were like two people in my life, my mom and dad were the only two people in my life that said that it was possible for me. Everybody else said you'll never do it, uh, it'll never happen. My high school band teacher, Mel Hansen, even said, uh, watch this guy, he'll be a fry cook at McDonald's. You know, um, I, I, I was homeless, I was sleeping in a sleeping bag on the sidewalk in Nashville. I slept uh, on the sidewalk in, in Fort Worth, Texas. I've eaten out of trash cans, you know, come a complete circle. I went from nothing to, to everything and then back to nothing and now I'm back, back to having a little bit of something. You've accomplished a lot of your dreams. Do you still have more that you just can't wait to reach that next one? My dreams, I guess, have sort of changed in the last three years. I've got a three-year-old little boy that lives up here in Linden with his mom. and You know, I always kind of thought music was... That was the answer to everything, you know. That was if I could just have that money that came with that, if I could have the women that came with that, if I could have that party, you know, my life would be perfect. And now with a three-year-old little boy, you know, my dream is to is to be home with him and watch him growing up playing baseball. You know, I want to go to his baseball games, and um, that's my new dream. Tell us some of your proudest moments that you've gone through in this industry. Uh, definitely uh, 2005, Willie Nelson's 4th of July picnic. At, they call it Hills 40 Acres. It's behind Billy Bob's. It's this big stretch of property right behind Billy Bob's in, in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, I was playing drums for a band called the Kings of Texas. It was a Charlie Daniels project. Uh, Audley Freed was our guitar player from the Black Crows. Uh, Charlie Daniels was the leader of the band. Uh, Waylon Pierce, who's still one of my best friends in the world, uh, and I played drums for him. Uh, we played Willie's Fourth of July picnic with Bob Dylan, the Doobie Brothers. Uh, Chris Christopherson was there. Uh, you know, I, I got to talk to Chris Christopherson, who's probably the greatest songwriter still living today. You gotta carry on. Oh, carry on. This guy's living proof that if you work real hard and you don't give up, you can accomplish anything. 
Next week on Talk It Up TV, we're going to take you to the Walkham Young Professionals Buzz Off, where they're going to go head to head and compete for their charities. How's that for some B-roll? Yeah. Uh, more or less.